this project is about your image, your own face. It's about pushing limits. It's about showing that art can go in places where we don't always expect it. This is a project that's been all over the globe and of course Times Square is a crossroads of the world. People get their photo and then a couple of seconds later they have a large print coming out of the booth and they can paste it here with the team helping them. Everyone in New York gets to see your picture. Bringing back the printing out of black and white images of people, which really first debuted in Times Square in 1926. It's being done here in this amazingly modern way. I've been following JR for years. Everything that he does has been spectacular. He just takes the simplest idea and really runs with it. How often do you get your head on, on Times Square and to participate in something that's worldwide? This is giving a platform and an audience to voices that are perhaps lesser heard or faces that are lesser seen. Amongst all these advertisements, there should be artwork littered across New York, and I think it's great. The fact that that project is not sponsored by any brand or any corporation, it's also really important in such a place. To let people take over the center of New York, facing their faces in the middle of all those brands coming from all over the world. Um, you see so many different faces, so many different types of people, and everyone just wants to be part of it. You know, I don't influence people to come from this and this community. They just come, and that reflects the city, that reflects the community. Most of the people, they don't really know how it's going to affect them until they do it, and that's the beauty of it.